Yeah, Pixie has a, pro it's a project started quite a while ago, so it has now three years of development with Experiencia Electrica. has been started by uh, Michael, Michel Panouillot and myself as an association uh, between design, art, and electronics. All of us trying to join creating an independent research labs over the principles of developing our own tools with our own means and uh, applying them to um, the artistic environment. So Pixie is really, as you saw, so downstairs, um, addressing large-scale media displays with our own means and uh, with a freedom of realization and of uh, content that, uh, that is quite unique because we, we develop it on our own. So it really aims to push as far as possible uh, the, uh, the use of video image in volume, uh, cutting out uh, and the questioning of low resolution. So as you saw downstairs, uh, each pixel of the pixie is made of squares of electroluminescent paper. Michael is going to develop a lot more about that after uh, regarding the technology. Each pixel is controlled independently and is aimed to be distributed into space. So the whole material has a lot of, um, is supple. It's a sheet of plastic that can be tossed and used in any different manners. Right now it's been dis distributed in a really logical way throughout space. And video material is, is, is from each work of pixel to the other one in space, we're configuring completely an approach to, to video according to perceptual approach which means you do keep, perceive only a small part of, of the image and you sort of attach to it and get, uh, as a participant, by your own implication and your own interpretation. Interaction goes through the, the, the appropriation of the image. Meaning, as you can see, you see it from further away and as you get along to it and you enter it, you do get to a full other appropriation. I'm sorry. Um, so, physical appropriation of the video is really about, uh, as I said, and getting the viewer to enter. So, right now, with the Chameleon project, the the face is really overwhelming through through the image, and you you do start start entering, and as you enter the room, you completely lose the face, and you only get into the flux of the of the image. But your presence in there, even if you would enter the, the display, you would become a shadow within there and you would completely integrate the video. So it's really about complete appropriation. In the same manner that Experiencia Electrica appropriates technology, Pixie is in a way that we appropriate the, the image. Yeah, Pixie as a perceptual approach of the image really, really refers back to the origin of the discovery of, of the image through perception. Curiously enough, as I was mentioning, maybe if you were there, the first talk, uh, the first um, approaches to moving image were evolving from researchers from Joseph Plateau, who was looking at um, retinian, pers retinian persistence, meaning that he started developing uh, the phenetoscope, which is a uh, gun, basically a gun shooting image, only because he was intrigued by the fact that when you were looking at light, uh, light, you had a perceptual residual image of it, and he questioned whether that would lead to the same effect of the image. This is really what we are addressing with, uh, with Pixie as you, s you really watch video moving from one pixel to another. And this is really what we are qu questioning and uh, how far we, can, we could push that. And our aim also is to do that through um, moving it through space. And this is the typical installation you don't now have downstairs as the first row goes to the second row to the third row. And it really appropriates the volume to the image, really completely distributes and see how far can we go. And actually, by using video image, you can go really, really far into deconstructing the image. 
obviously addressing architectural spaces and uh, completely developing to all sorts of possible means. And we'd, we'd set up according to, to the space that, uh, that it is proposed to, meaning uh, the installation is completely supple and could have, is first shown as an installation piece. So low resolution video has a long history, has a long movement, and is part of our concern as Experiencia Electrica. Uh, appropriation of um, low means, as you can see, downstairs everything is handmade. Every tool, uh, every detail is appropriated as part of the content. Every wire is part of the screen. Um, all the insulation materials are uh, really as on our artistic means. And it is absolutely not a piece made to be industrialized or commercialized. It is really uh, an appropriation of tools. This is uh, the whole connection part, but Michael will talk more about that. And leading to quite an aesthetical effect. And the aesthetics is important of it. The first seduction part of it is important. So this is a pixie in the context of the Cameroon project, the whole team T Tina has been putting up in order to get uh, the images displayed through it and uh, plugging it back to, uh, to, to test and try whether we could um, put up and see expressions of, of the, her database as a volumic setup, which has led to quite uh, some new developments we had developed um, for in that order a double amount of pixels of what we already had. Michael has been working hard in uh, developing new uh, alimentation which would lead to, to more power and more, and more definition in the great ones. And we have been plugging it to um, Tina's uh, first reading engine. Having, so we had both the physical interaction and uh, the camera interaction, uh, trying to, to see whether we could um, have both functioning together, have a fixed point of interaction and have a moving point of interaction within the screen. So all the video content will be triggered by Antina's database and all the, inter the, the camera interaction would be set up on her engine. But at the same time, we would have this tension uh, of the people appropriating the, the space in the screen, which is one of the points we, we, were, we have been working, I think, throughout all, all, the, all the residency, pushing out throughout its limits. Uh, meanwhile, Michael has been developing and developing new, new technology, and uh, quite su successfully, although I'm not sure we might be able to present it later on, it wasn't plugged in at the beginning of the, before the talk, but probably will be after. It's, I think it's a question of minutes. So if you have patience and time to see, you will be, the, you will be able to see the, the new developments. And uh, I will pass, actually, yeah. talks to him, and you have yeah. more images if you want. Uh, I need to see video screens all day. Um, the, the thing about uh, building the Pixie was, was uh, interesting and actually being here with you and, and uh, trying to fill a space uh, with our technology and, and your content uh, was a very, very good experience. It's incredibly interesting to see how little visual information you need to have to see to to see what's uh, what the person's face uh, expresses. Uh, I mean, uh, we're talking uh, a resolution that's less than uh, your ten-year-old cellular phone uh, in black and white, uh, which is. It's funny that we're kind of like going to always running towards a. Uh, greater definition, color, more pixels, more, uh, more information, when we need so little. And we actually, our brain uses so little. And uh, most of it, most of the information that we see uh, is actually made up.
by your brain. This is what neurosurgeons are discovering now. Um, so it was a great experience to, 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 to play and experiment a little bit with that and see what people's reactions were to it. Um, yes, we did develop new, techno, new tools for our screen that helped us a lot to actually have, have the space to do it. And, uh, and because most of the time the screen just is sitting in the corner and not being used. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but that's such a good life. It takes so much room that it's really hard to find a space for it. Um, my aim when I was in the designing the Pixie, uh, it was to, to make something that could be used uh, anywhere, could be built anywhere. Uh, actually built, actually built it you know, on my kitchen table uh, using not kitchen tools, but pretty close to it. Um, but at the same time, uh, uh, it is new technology. I mean, we're talking about uh, surface mount uh, uh, microprocessors. Uh, uh, resistors are about uh, 0.2 millimeters wide. Uh, it is stuff that even um, professional electronicians uh, will not touch. And uh, it was actually very interesting for me experimenting through building the Pixie uh, that it is actually much easier to do it that way than the old way. Uh, all, yeah, the, the parts I chose to build the, the thing are parts that you can buy in third world countries, uh, which for me it's, it's a big shame uh, that we bear on our in the accident world that. Uh, most of the technology that we use every day cannot be bought in third world countries. Spare parts, uh, microcontrollers and stuff like this. Uh, which means we can actually play with these things, but they cannot use them to build useful things. Um, well, that's part of the, my message and, and the, all the electronics I build is, is geared toward this, I mean, with this in mind, uh, means that uh, when I put some plans on the internet, that somebody anywhere in the world can build it. It's important, even if it's quite high technology. Um, 